Good Hello. evening, everybody. Good evening, Facebook yeah. family yeah. and friends. We're at a new location today. We came outside because we have a powerful word from the Lord for you today. I'm Minister Issa. And I'm Minister Curtis, and we come from the Alter International Church where we serve under the great Apostle Gene August. Yes, yes. 8039 Pent Randall Place, Upper Marlboro, Maryland, 20772. Yes. All right. Share, 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 and share, because this is going to be a good one today, y'all. You don't want to miss this word today. It is a mighty word. We got a great example that we're going to show you all on why this word is true. Amen. And before, we, go wait, ahead. I'm sorry. Before we go there, I want to go in prayer. Yes. Oh, Heavenly Father, Lord, in the precious name of Jesus, Lord, we ask, oh, Heavenly Father, that you touch our heart, minds, and soul. Lord, I ask, oh, Heavenly Father, that this word touch someone, oh, yes, Heavenly Lord. Father, and Lord, let it pierce their heart, mind, and soul. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We're coming from the book of Luke, chapter 19. We're going to start with verses 37, and we're going to go all the way to verse 40. Luke 19, 37 through 40. Amen. Amen. All right. And it says, when he came near the place where the road goes down the Mount of Olives, the whole crowd of disciples began joyfully to praise God in loud voices for all the miracles they had seen. Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Yes. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. And uh, Jesus replied, I tell you, he replied, if they keep quiet, the stones will cry out. Amen. My Lord, that the is a stones powerful stones will cry, cry out. out. Amen. And so that is a powerful word. Yes. Um, here, uh, this is right around Palm Sunday and Jesus is, is coming and uh, the Mount of Olives and the people are shouting and they are joyous because they had heard that this day would come. Yes. And so they're so happy. And so um, it's just a magnificent time. Yes. But then you got someone there trying to stop the glory of God. That's right. Exactly. So the Pharisees told Jesus, stop your disciples from worshiping, stop them from praising. And Jesus said, let me tell you something. If I stop them from praising, guess what? The rocks are gonna cry out for me. The rocks are gonna worship me. The rocks are gonna praise me. So he was telling them, I'm not gonna tell them to be quiet because everything has a language. Everything I've created has, has a, a language, language, including the rocks, including the animals, including money. Everything in your life, everything that God created, has a language and yesterday while we were at this park we experienced that for ourselves our apostle tells us all the time speak to your situation everything has a voice everything is listening and so while we were here yesterday we were beginning to feed these ducks that are back here these birds and all of a sudden they heard a sound the birds heard a sound yes they, they heard did. a sound and they began to cry out they begin to come towards us and and come to try to eat because they heard the sound of the food machine that we were giving them amen so when the birds started hearing the sound of the food machine they all became flooding across the lake they came across the lake so they could eat and so we were given this example that everything has a voice everything has a sound Amen. Oh, no, no. And so here, the rock is in, in, in Psalm 150. It says, uh, make a joyful noise and the rocks will cry out. And, and this is a, another example where the rocks are witness to the word. The yes. rocks will cry out, make a joyful noise. And, and here you have the disciples making a loud noise, a yes. joyful noise. And they and, and the rocks, he said, if they stop, the rocks will cry out Absolutely. and so so often we have a language with everything that we do that's right money has a language you are supposed to call money and money will come because in the bible it says if you have the faith of a mustard seed yes, that's what it says. you can tell a mountain to move and, right. and in your carnal mind you say you know what this is impossible for a mountain to move yes. but as soon as you start to speak existence, yes. things begin to move. Absolutely. I'm going to read a script to you. In Joshua, even Joshua was telling the people of Israel that he had made a covenant, covenant with God. And it says in Joshua 24, 
25, it says, On that day, Joshua made a covenant for the people, and there at Shechem he drew up for them a decree and laws. And Joshua recorded these things in the book of the law of God. Then he took a large stone, listen to this. Then he took a large stone and set it up there under the oak near the holy place of the Lord. And he said, see, he said to the people, this stone will be a witness against us. It has heard, listen, it has heard all the words the Lord has said to us. It will be a witness against you if you are unable and untrue to your God. So Joshua was telling him, I'm going to set up this altar here. I'm going to place this rock right here. The altar is going to hear everything that we said, and it will be a witness against what we said if we don't follow the word and the command of God. So everything has a voice. Everything has ears. Everything hears what we say. So what we're saying to you is you got to speak to your situation. If you're in a situation where you're financially unable to pay some things, you got to call money to you. You got to say money come now. Money has ears. Everything hears what you say. You got to yell out and cry out for what it is that you need in your life. Amen. And so also, if there are other times in the Bible where the word rock is yes, right there. That's and, right. And the rocks... Uh, uh, and when it says in Psalm 150, it yes. says everything yes. with breath. So evidently, rocks have breath. That's right. Every, because guess what? God made the rock. That's right. Anything God has made, it has a voice. That's it has right. it has a, a, a breath. It has everything. It's just that we are the ones that have the soul. That's right. And we have the spirit. But those things do have a voice. That's right. You know what I mean? So 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 often you see cartoons and you see rocks talking. You see trees talking. But guess what? They do in their own way. Yes. It's just that we don't see it. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it, it but we can speak to it. That's right. And so as we speak to it, it does respond. So Absolutely. we have to be cognitive of the things. Anything that you say, like for instance, you may say, I am broke. You're saying that God is broke. God ain't broke. Yes. So, because God told Moses, I am who I am. That's right. And so you have to continuously be able to speak life into things. And yes. when you speak life into things, it will fall under your command. That's right. Absolutely. So remember, your words have power. What you put in the atmosphere lingers in the spiritual realm. And it's there until you pull it down. So if you're telling people you're broke, like my husband said, you will be broke. If you're telling them I'm poor, guess what? You will be poor. You have to use your words in a positive way because everything has ears. Everything has a sound. The Bible says, like my husband says, that everything that has breath, praise the Lord. Even the rocks were praising the Lord. Even the animals were praising the Lord. Even in another chapter in the Bible, it talks about how the donkey spoke. If God can use a donkey to speak, and cry out then he can use us to cry out we ought to cry out for what it is that we need god to do in our life amen so sometimes you got to stop speaking negativity and speak positivity and cry out and put a word out there for what it is you need god to do for you amen and so this word right here yes. is so powerful and we can't like like my wife said we came to this park yesterday and the ducks they heard the sound and they come in they now. Hear the sound. And they hear the sound and they are coming now. Mm -hmm. And so you have to be able to speak their language. Yes. You can't go out here and, and just think that you're going to do a Donald Duck impression or anything like that. <laughs> you have to speak their language That's and right. they will respond. Absolutely. And so any situation that's in your life, you yes. have to speak that language Absolutely. to make it operate under the power of God. Absolutely. Amen. So we just wanted to bring y'all a wonderful word and give you an example of how everything has a language, how everything has a voice, how when things have a sound, things in the atmosphere respond. Amen. Even when Elijah said there will be no rain or no dew until my word. Amen. He had to speak it. And when he spoke it, the rain came back. But also when he spoke it, the rain stopped. He had the anointing to control the atmosphere and the elements. So just like Elijah, we have the power to control what happens in our life, how things respond to us, what we want to happen. So use your words in a mighty way, amen. God gave you the power and the authority to do these things. So use the authority that God has given you to make some changes in your life. Amen. 
this was a brief word, but it was a powerful word. Absolutely. But speak. Speak. The things into your life. That's right. Speak those things as though they were. Amen. That's Amen. what the Bible says. Speak them as though they were. So when you do that, it will happen. Things will begin to move in the spiritual realm, from the spiritual realm into the natural realm. Amen. So allow those words to be spoken. Allow things to take strength in your life. Be power in all that you do. Use your words in a mighty way and allow God to start making some changes in your life. Amen. 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 That, that was a powerful word. Yes. Look, if this word blessed you, go to www.prayertimewiththeapostle.com slash donation because there's no nation like a donation. And continue to speak powerful Relatable. words into your life mm -hmm. so that things will manifest the way that they are supposed to manifest. Amen. We thank y'all for watching us today. Join us tomorrow at 8.30. This is Layla. Layla wants to say hi. Say hi, Layla. Hi. So we wanted to bring you a powerful word about how everything has a voice, how everything has a sound, and how everything hears, everything that God made has a voice. Amen. Even when Jesus, I forgot to give y'all this, even when Jesus cursed the fig tree, he said, may no one ever get fruit from you again. And that fig tree withered. No more was it ever to live. It died. It heard what Jesus said and it died. It withered and died. So even the powerful word of Jesus Christ, when he cursed that tree, no more fruit ever came to that tree again. It just died. It withered and died. Amen. As they were going out and as they were coming back, the disciple says the tree is still dead. And he gave them a parable about how we ought to be able to tell that mountain to move. Amen. So we bless God for y'all. Do the research on what we just gave you so you too can have an understanding. The Bible says to study the goat, show thyself approved, and to rightly divide the word of truth. Amen. God bless y'all. Y'all have a good afternoon, and we will see you on tomorrow night. And if Oh, also, we came out of Luke. 1937 yes. through 40. That's right. God Remember bless. to love on your family and your friends because love bears all things. We love y'all and there's nothing you can do about it. God bless you. Good night. Have a good evening.